everyone welcome to the channel this is Mkamadeg here in this video I wanna show you how to delete and modify your object your free the object for free the printing yeah so um I wanna show you how you can cross holes modify delete add some objects onto your onto your model uh, and you are going to use the brush let me show you how the brush looks like and the brush is the best best software or it is the right tool for fixing this kind of errors so let's let me show ZBrush. So if if this is your first time to open ZBrush, it will look like this. And secondly, um, ZBrush it is the right tool for this kind of tasks because ZBrush has a lot of tools. Um, it's so good for fixing errors like closing holes, merging objects together, deleting some parts, and do some mod modifications. You know, so um. I want you guys to tell you the brush is the best software in my experience and for and many people are using the brush for preparing their objects for 3d printing so that's why if you want to 3d printing you should you should better learn the brush and you don't need to understand all that tools what you just need to understand just a few tools which is good for fixing errors um so if this is your first time to open the brush don't worry i try my best to guide you in all the steps on how you can do everything so let's first let's first import our object into the brush and i show you how you can delete some parts which you don't want onto your object so um let's first call this a uh, this things over here this is called that box so click here the red box to close it like that and let's first make our document pick this one over here this 3d space so come here document let's double over here come here again at document and make this range down to zero like this now let's import our object um but remember the brush doesn't import um stl file you can export stl file from the brush but you cannot import stl file i don't know why but you know i don't know mm. that's the brush okay um so if let's say you are having stl file so you should better import it uh let's say in blender or any other free software which you use and then you export the obj file because once you import the obj file onto the brush we shall be able to export the stl file direct direct from the brush because the brush you can export the stl but you cannot import so now let's import our object so to import come here to import over here and then locate where you saved your object so here where i saved my object so now if you can see your object over here that means it has already imported into the brush so to see it click left click and drag into the open here open space the free this space over here so now we need to go to every edit mode in order to order uh, sorry in order to edit our object so come here at the, and click on this icon over here so now um to rotate let's use these keys over here so to move press left uh, key onto your mouth on your mouse and then you move this is the move this is the zoom and this is the, the rotation and let's say you have moved like let's say you don't see your object into the 3d space you can click on on this icon over here flame so it will come back here now let, let me let's change the material i don't like this kind of this material so let's change the material over here and select the basic material so now let's let's delete let's let me show you how you can delete parts which you don't want onto your object so to do it press ctrl and shift and then put let's say you want to delete this part over here this one over here so press ctrl and shift and then drag like this ctrl and shift it to it brings this this cutting this green color so now when i delete this down part now press oh, you uh, let's say you are uh, as i told you press ctrl and shift and then drag to get this kind this green color 
and then press hold because we want to delete this part so we need to press hold it's like the negative so now so now move uh, and then release all the keys so now we have so now what we have done we have hidden all this down part over here so now we need to make sure we delete it because we just hidden it so come here the geometry geometry over here add the tools geometry modify the page modify to page over here and then there is delete hidden over here so click on it now we have deleted this down part but as you can see we are having uh, some problem that um we have deleted this part because we don't want it but the problem we are having hole like we are having holes over here and we cannot even see it properly so come here and scroll down press left key and hold it to scroll down and display properties over here click on it left click to click to select and then click on the double so now you can see properly inside so we need to close this hole now let me show how you can close this hole it's really simple into the brush come here the geometry scroll down at dynamash over here look for dynamash into geometry dynamash over here so there is dynamash word over here if you click on it now you can see we have closed this hole but you are having a problem all our details has gone so let's undo ctrl z to undo now if you take a look over here there's a, a, a word called resolution so this, uh, right now resolution is uh, on 128 so if we increase the resolution so let's put it on to let's say 1000 and press enter then hit the dynamash again yeah ta -da. so now we have crossed the holes and we are having all our details like our details are okay so as i as i told you if you want to leave some part press ctrl and shift then drag like this to select that area which you want to delete and then press alt to hide that area part as you can see we have we have hidden this area over here so now to delete come here the modified point and press delete hidden so now they have deleted uh, this part which we, we have hidden which we have added so uh, now there is a hole here as you can see we are having the hole, the hole here so to cross this hole press control um, so come here the dynamash click on the dynamash and let's say if you see um let's say this dynamash it's in this color this is orange color i think let's say it's in orange color so what you need to do you don't need to come back again and click on it let's say when it's an orange color we just have to call, press control and then drag into the open space like this then release Ta -da. now you can see i've closed this hole over here so as you can see it's really simple let's do the same thing here control shift and then drag to select this area hold and hide this part come here the geometry modify to purge and delete hidden now i have deleted this area so now let's say one across this hole and come here dynamash geometry dynamash over here if you see still we are having this orange color it's already this dynamash word it's an orange color you don't need to click here you just press ctrl and then drag into the open area Ta -da. now you can see i've closed this hole over here so that's how we close holes into the brush and and i have showed you how to delete parts which you don't want onto your object and how to to close holes and so let's say you wanna and there is a way there is another way you can use to to delete let's say to select some parts which you don't want so press ctrl and shift come here select rect over here and then click at select lasso over here lasso selection so now with the lasso what the lasso does what what the lasso does 
control shift again then the with the last you can select in this kind of way like this then press alt to hide this area then come here geometry modify to porridge then press delete hidden again and the control and drag into the open area Tala. now you have closed this area as you can see it's really simple so now um as i showed you how to delete and how to to close the holes so now let me show you how to to join some to join parts let's say you want to add more parts onto your object so it's really simple so um come here and select cylinder over here or let's say let's say you want to add some objects so in the brush there's here this is called sub two let's say you're having different objects into your scene all the all of them will appear over here so now to we are having only one object over here so now let's set we wanna um, add some objects over here to do it come here the append so when you press append they, sh they will show you let's say some objects which which you are having over here into the brush so now let's click on this cylinder over here so now it will appear into our 3 d scene now we are having this cylinder into our 3 d scene into the sub tool sub tool is like a tool where all your objects which you are which you are having to your free d scene all of them are you'll find them over here so now click uh, at the cylinder and now it's big so now let's scale it if you want to scale it come here the scale over here and scale it down like this and then then you can use this allow keys to move it at the side like this and then rotate like this rotate again and click here again at this yellow thing to um to scale so to scale it down and then you can use these arrows to move it here and then rotate and then put it and put it in place like this so and then zoom in and so now we have added this object over here so now let's say we wanna make sure it's the same object with this one so select the select our object the top object and scroll down at the merge over here there's the word called merge and press merge down and press ok so now i've merged our object but it's not joined together it's not one mesh they still they are it's so it's merged together but still it's not one mesh so in order to make sure it's one mesh uh, uh cross the sub tool click here and click on geometry come back at then mesh so if you see it, it still shows this yellow color just press ctrl and drag into open area Dada. so now i've crossed this so now i've merged this together so this cylinder it is the one with this baby yoda object so that's how you you merge objects like together um so now let's i i have my other object which i modeled using blender and i want to import it and i I match with I put it here like I want to make it's like a stand a stand so now come here select cylinder over here then press import this is my object it's a stand so now so um, I used blender to model this one so now let's let's say I want my baby Yoda to sit on this stand so select the baby Yoda and then come here the sub tool append and select stand then rotate zoom in a little bit and as you can see it's already here so select it over here um,
when I move it down so here to move, click on this move over here to move and I move it down like this like that I think I want to merge them together so I put it I'll put it there like that and then select baby Yoda scroll down and press merge down and press ok so now we have merged this but we need to make sure it it's one object because now we have merged it together but it's not one object it's not suitable for 3d printing so come back at the oh, edit sorry i draw over here and then press ctrl and drag again to, to join all the objects together Done. so now it's one object as you can see, zoom in. As you can see, it's one object. You see, so uh, that's how guys we uh, we we match things together. That's how we close holes. To, we close holes. That's how um we delete some parts. So these techniques uh, are really good, and as you can see, it's really simple to do everything. Press Ctrl and Shift. If you want to do some part, press Alt to hide it like that. So um, then come here, geometry, modify to purge, delete hidden, press OK, and then Control and drag to close this hole over here because we have, we have uh, you see. So now we have closed this hole over here. So that's how we do things. Uh, so I think that's it. Thank you guys for for watching. Hope you have learned something from this tutorial, and I'll build these tutorials about everything when it comes about 3D printing. So thanks, thanks so much, and hope you have enjoyed. Uh, please subscribe to the channel because more videos are coming, and stay safe. Stay safe. Peace.